Hi, I'm Eric Quinn. I'm a personal trainer, and we are here in Club Metro Jersey City, New Jersey. Today, we're going to discuss how to lower uh, your belly fat without doing crunches. Okay, so now you want to lose your belly fat, and you want to do it very fast because you have uh, something coming up. You have a wedding, you're going on vacation, you have something coming up. What do you do? Well, let's talk first of all about a myth. The myth that doing crunches is going to burn the fat in that area. There's no localized exercise that you do that can burn fat in that specific area. So whatever you do, whatever exercise you do, is going to burn calories as a whole, not as a specific part. There are a lot of things that you, know, you, know, you need to take into consideration. For instance, your age, your sex, the amount of fat you have in the body, um, the amount of muscle you have in the body. You need to take into consideration all those things um, when you're going to burn fat. So what do you do? You have to do cardio. Let's pretend that you're already doing cardiovascular exercises. You need to increase the intensity of the exercise as you do it. You need to do strength training or resistance training. It doesn't have to be weights. You can be using um, elastic also to, for resistance. But you need to mix both in order for you to increase your metabolism. Okay, and metabolism only saying that is is using whatever food and whatever drink that you're giving it, and it's using it faster. So increasing the metabolism means that you just using it a little faster. Therefore, it's you know it's getting it's using the calories. That's why it's using it's using the calories. So you start burning the fat as a whole. Okay, unfortunately we tend to burn fat from top down, not from down up. So you belly part has to come down just the same way everything else comes down. Okay, so focus on your eating. What is one thing or two things that you can take out of your meal that you know is bringing a lot of fat in the ab muscles and in, in your abs and your belly? What is one thing or two things you can take that out? Maybe soda, maybe pizza that you eat pizza every day, maybe McDonald's, something. You know, burgers or whatever it is that you know that you can take out of your meal, take it out. Let's start with that. And your exercise, if you are just walking, let's pretend that you're just walking because you're just starting and you don't, you don't want to do too much. If you are just walking one lap around the block, walk two. And if you are just walking, then just walk a little faster. You know, and jog for 10 meters or 10 yards. And then just walk. And then you just run a little bit or jog a little bit and then walk a little more. Whatever it is that you're doing, you need to increase the intensity of that if you really want to burn the fat, okay? And keep in mind, keep in mind, and it's very important you keep in mind that you don't burn the fat in one area. Whatever it is that you do, you do the strength training, and you do your cardiovascular, you do your stretches, whatever it is that you're doing is going to burn the fat as a whole, not as a localized thing, okay? It's very important. Thank you.